to today, do I need a website? That's what we're going to be talking about next. One marketing, and I just want to talk to you for a couple of minutes. I realized something that I hadn't done before. I took it for granted that everybody's on the internet now. Everybody has a website, but I come to find out that as I do business, the more I do business, the more I found out that everyone doesn't have a website. A lot, of, you know, and 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 this is why we're going to talk about that in a second. And do I need a website or don't I need a website? Do I need a website? Don't I need a website? Yes, you do need a website. And I'm going to tell you why. Back in the day when I first was in business, what we would have was a couple of different things for our marketing tools was we would have a business card, uh, we'd have brochures or and or a flyer. Um, this is before video is where it is now. The internet was where it is now. And so in order to promote and market my business, I would have to hand somebody a flyer, hand somebody a business card, or give them a brochure. A uh, business card was real short. It would just basically have general information, um, name, telephone number, contact information, and then some, some basic bullet points uh, and a, you know maybe a picture or something like that on my business card. And that would be my calling card for someone else to follow up. And so that would be the beginning. A brochure. And a brochure would be a trifold. It would be uh, three-sided, front and back, and then you would fold it into uh, easy to hand out. And it would have more information. It would have more pictures. It would have more descriptions of what we do. And try to convey a message and brand um, as we try to do business. Flyer would be either a quarter page flyer or a full page flyer based upon budget, based upon what I'm marketing and promoting. And that would have the same thing. It would have a better message. You would have more impactful information on it. And it would be brief because because of the smaller size, it would be a little bit more than a business card, a little bit, um, um, it would be, you know, nicer, easier to hand out, put them on countertops and that kind of stuff at that time. And, and that was the way how we market and promote our business. Besides, you know, going into advertising on the radio or advertising on, on um, uh, magazines or newspapers or whatever that would be one of the ways we would market to promote our business all of those and more in one place what, I, what I've learned in a short time actually I say long short time but a long time I've been in business as trends change as times change you need to change with those times don't get stuck and say well I don't need a website everybody's gonna find out who I am I have a yellow page ad or have these other ways of marketing promotion offline marketing is great internet is internet is is where everybody is going and you need to go with the trend Everyone has something like this called a smartphone, and a smartphone gives you access to someone 24-7, right? Because what they're doing, they're on this more than on a laptop or computer. You're finding out more and more and more and more people are going to this because of being the fast-paced life, going where they're going, in business, out of business, going to the games, whatever. They can look on their hip or in their purse and pull out a smartphone to be able to look at websites, find out information and so forth. So less and less people are using traditional advertising and going towards more towards using uh, the internet as a way of marketing and promoting their business. Do I need a website? As I stated earlier, traditional ways of advertising is still great, you know, offline marketing, but online marketing, you must have a website. One of the things that I found out is in a lot of business owners that I've been talking to, uh, especially lately, is that, oh, I have a Facebook fan page. Yeah, Facebook fan page is free. Yes, it's easy, but you're branding somebody else. And so what does that mean, branding somebody else? Well, you have to go to facebook.com forward slash whatever the name is to get to you. And so what happens is you go there, what happen, you know, is there's their ads on the website, their promotional things on the website, and then you're, you're restricted to whatever information they will allow you to have. You're restricted because they own it and you don't. Then you're stuck to whatever they want you to have on their, on, on their website, actually, and you just have a page on their website for a couple of different reasons. We talked about Facebook for a second and, and, you know, and what they have to do to help you as far as, as have, you know, having a fan page. And it's free, but you need something that you are in control of, that all the content comes through you. One of the things that we're using is very popular right now. One of the most popular uh, means of having a website is called uh, WordPress. WordPress websites are, you know, they're, they're, they're easy to set up. Um, they have thousands and thousands of, of templates and plugins and all that kind of stuff which I'm not going to get into that. We have a bunch of teaching on our website for you to learn more about WordPress but I'm not here to promote WordPress. I'm here about you promoting your own, having your own website. So anyway, you have the opportunity to customize any kind of way you want to for little or nothing. If you, if you can't do it then you can hire a designer to do it as well so they can help you design whatever you want. And it's the ease of use of having a WordPress website. You host it on somebody on your on someone's server, a hosting company, which we'll get into that in a little bit. But you're able to control the flow of content that goes to your website. No extra advertising. You can put videos on there, you can put audio on there, you can also type in there, you can set it up as a blog. You set it up as a magazine site with just videos only. You can do all kind of things and being flexible. 
but the about you, all the information is tailored to your company, so you're branding you and not somebody else. The reason those other companies are getting larger is because you're, the first part of the URL is their name. So the first thing that thinks in the person's mind is when they think about you, when they think about branding, or thinking about you know going after an industry, if you're if you're if you're branded through YouTube or somebody else.com, you, then you're actually doing the work for somebody else. That's why Yahoo or Google or AOL, they all give you ear, you know, give you email, free emails because you go to yahoo.com, go to email and then or google.com or excuse me, gmail.com uh, and to get to to uh, well, it's actually mail dot whatever 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 dot com. But anyway, but you're branding them before you. So I, I don't want to get into that now. I just kind of came to my mind. I just want to drop that seed in you. But that's part of branding. So that's part of why they allow it to be free because you coming, you sending people to their website will give them access to your one, your information, and two, your people. When you send them to their to their to your to their website first, what happens is all the stuff that's around the page that you know, yeah, your page is free, but there's advertising and all this other stuff around it that will pull somebody away from you versus staying to you because you're on somebody else's website able to post to other uh, websites or social media sites because one of the things that I use WordPress sites for is that I can write my blog or do my vlog or write my article or add content to it and then there's a feature within it that allow you to share that information to other social media sites so instead of me going to each one separately I'm able to go to that one at one time so but there's other other websites that do that other uh, you know there's there's a ton of other companies that are out there besides WordPress, but WordPress is also one of the other features is it's Google friendly, meaning search engine friendly. Because it was set up originally for blogging, which is text, the algorithms that 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 um, Google or, or Yahoo or some of the other search engines are looking for, they send out something called spiders. And the spiders looks for meta tags and, and uh, uh, um, oh gosh, what are those things called? It's SEO friendly, meaning search optimization. So it's optimized for uh, those 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 spiders to go out and find content that is about whatever the category is. So having a WordPress website will help you in that area because it has those features in it that will help you promote and promote and market your business. Because that's again, that's what the calling card is today: is using your website as your calling card. You'll find if it's an employer or a possible um, person looking for an industry. Instead of them going to Yellow Page, they're going to go look on a website, you know, look on the internet and Google it, <laughs> called Google it, which is a term. Google it, looking for whatever the industry is, whatever the product is, whatever the service is. They're going to go look online before they start to look back on the Yellow Page. Unless you're very traditional and some of the older people still advertise, and the Yellow Pages are still around and still thick. But you'll find that, that the internet is more cost effective. And it also, Yellow Pages has a Yellow Page online uh, section as well. So, in, in, in recap, you want to have a website because it's the calling card of the day. Being in the 21st century, they're looking more online than they're looking offline for businesses. Unless you're driving by and they happen to see the service, but if you're a home-based business, then how do they find you if your business is at home? You can't put necessarily in the neighborhood, put a sign out front to let them know what you do. And even in the neighborhood, there's less traffic. There's more traffic on the internet that's going to draw people to you, give you the opportunity to reach more customers, for you to be more successful, to make more business, to be able to provide for your family, to be able to do what it is that you want to do, which is have freedom to do more business. So having a website is something that you should do. And I, and I, I have tons of them because I got it. I got it earlier. I'm an early adopter about the internet. And because I'm an early adopter, I made a bunch of mistakes. And so I'm going to be sharing those mistakes with you so that way you don't do the same thing I did. That's why I, I went to WordPress is because, again, I keep using them because it's so easy to use. I've been able to I get people from all over the world that go to my website because I've, I've been able to optimize it based upon what they have, the features that they offer. Ryan doesn't know, but others do. And I'm telling you, as an entrepreneur to an entrepreneur, please get a website. Thank you. God bless work and you'll take a look at my WordPress website and then if you'd like to take a look at our personal our community website because we have those as well and again we're not going to talk about that today um, go down below we have a link bizhelpmarketing.com uh, and the links down below and I also have a book on uh, and marketing and promotions how to market your business it's called the startup guide to marketing uh, the links down there um, you can register to win a copy uh, they're available on the books available on Amazon also in our own store 
that will help you and bless you because it'll teach you a more in depth of, of what internet what marketing is what the internet is social media and all that kind of stuff is in that book god bless you Great information go down below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you're on our youtube channel you can also uh, go down below and, and share this with everybody else leave a comment to let me know if it's good bad and different or what other subjects about entrepreneurship you want to hear about or you want to learn about thank you god bless